gonna fire off my shirt so you can rub your gravy down my chest rub your gravy on my niblets tonight anyways <clears throat> speaking of perverse acts um so yeah i'm gonna send this clip to you but i'm gonna obviously post it to youtube so you know now i i do not want to See, I don't know. I, certain people are having different reactions to this whole Kevin Spacey thing. I want to talk about this. So hopefully this is going to be a really short clip, but I usually say that and it's like three hours later. Um, but no, I'm going to try to definitely make this one short because I don't want to be talking about this too long because... <clears throat> I there's, there's two different reactions to the Kevin Spacey thing. Now, I have a third one that, my personal opinion... Um, now, first off, like you were talking about, you want to see uh, a good horror uh, movie. Like, you want to see horror movies and shit for Halloween. I'll be honest with you. You want to talk about a really good horror series that he's in? That's House of Cards. I'm telling you right now. That is just the creepiest fucking show I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. It's just... Uh, I'm going to rewatch it because I want to watch season five. And it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, but you definitely you should definitely check it out. You really should check it out because it's like it's almost like the Antichrist kind of a concept. He is he's literally is the devil. I mean, he's just he's a fucking prick. He's an asshole, and the things he does is just outlandishly crazy. Um. I'm not even going to try to sell that, but you really should check out House of Cards, at least the first couple episodes, because you'll be hooked on it, because it's just, it's, holy shit, you're like, um, <laughs> so, but anyways, aside from that, you definitely should check out House of Cards, <clears throat> in fact, I'll be watch. I'll, I'll watch it soon, so if you want to watch it with me, we could, we, we could do that for each other, anyway, speaking of doing stuff for each other, um, so his latest controversy is... Well, it's twofold because certain parts of the media are finally excited that he came out that he's gay, which is, uh, who gives a fuck? I don't really care. That doesn't, if, I don't even want to get into that. And then other people are up in arms that he sexually assaulted a young minor. Okay, well, first off, this is going to be a he said, well, he said, he said, obviously, in this case. Um, there's really no... He's not going to admit to anything. Obviously, it was 30 years ago. He's not going to admit to anything. So, let's just take the pedophilia off. The fact the kid was 14. Because I don't know if he knew that the kid was 14. I'm going to just assume he was. But you, you can't assume anything. But he probably knew. But let's just take that off the table. Now, a lot of people, oh, he sexually assaulted this person. I'll say, I'll say the guy instead of the kid. Because... Whatever. So he sexually assaulted this guy. And people are like, oh my god, sexual assault and abuse and blah, blah, blah. But the problem is, did he really sexually assault the guy? Did he? Under the circumstances, did he? Now, I'm not trying to make excuses for it. I'm just simply asking a question here. Because, well, I mean, let's look at it. The guy gets called up to his hotel room privately for a quote-unquote party and then the guy shows up thinking oh there's gonna be party balloons and favors and you know that kind of shit and the cakes and you know he, he shows up and there's just like two wine glasses and uh you know porn on the the tv in the bedroom uh what do you you know listen and then he finds himself sitting on, on the fucking bed watching tv no I admit if you're Kevin Spacey, even at 26, you can say, well, you're kind of young. Even at 26, you should realize that even if he didn't know the kid was 14, I mean, the fact the kid's sitting on his bed watching, you know, Flintstones or watching cartoons, you know, I, I don't know, but whatever. I'm being sarcastic. <clears throat> but again, let's take that out. So all of a sudden, you're, you're inviting somebody up to your hotel room for a quote-unquote party, and... He shows up, and now he's sitting on your bed, and you, you know he's there for sex. 
Now, on the flip side, he didn't know he was there for sex. So, when Kevin Spacey, you know, picks him up, throws him on the bed, and, like, jumps on top of him, is that really a sexual assault? Now, if he did that outside of the hotel room, outside of the situation, like, hey, and starts, like, humping him and stuff, I could understand it being a sexual assault. But under the circumstances, was it really? I mean, I'm not saying it's the ideal thing to do. Now, there's the whole male homo thing going on there that just I, I can't relate to in any way, shape, matter, or form, but under the circumstances, you know, you, you, again, you invite somebody up, you assume they know what they're there for, they show up, and then they're sitting on your bed. They're sitting on the bed. So it's like, what? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if, if that constitutes a legitimate sexual assault or some sort of sexual abuse or whatever they want to call it. I don't know if I could say that. I don't, I don't know if he acted inappropriately in that... Now again, the whole 14 thing, but I don't know if he acted inappropriate there because, again, why are you there? Now, is, I think it was more, to me, it sounded more like a misunderstanding. Because he knew why the kid was there. The kid didn't know why he was there. And once the kid realized, he's like, oh, and then Spacey apparently stopped. So, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know how I feel about that. And under the circumstances, to bring it up 30 years later, again, I don't know. I don't know. Now, if, he's, if, if, if this kid has had this with him, okay, fine, I get that, so on and so forth. But it's like, he didn't really do anything wrong in that sense. Now, again, a 14, or, again, we're taking that off the table. Just the fact that you invite somebody up to your hotel room, forget that it's another guy. You, you invite somebody up to the hotel room. What do you think you're supposed to happen? You know? Obviously, you're there for sex. You're there for the... You're there for that. So, again, I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about that. I mean, does it... Does... I don't know how I feel. Personally, I think the whole... Male relationship thing is... I don't know. It. it it's weird to me, so I can't... I, I don't want to say anything inappropriate, like, oh, just fucking fags, you know, nothing like that, but it's like, it's just, it's weird to me, the whole, I don't get it, because it's, because I always said I could probably understand somebody who's bisexual than I could somebody who's just straight gay, I could understand that maybe a little more, but then in this situation, it's just, it's weird, it doesn't compute with me, so I, I don't, I can't understand it, I'm just saying I can't understand it, I, I, if that makes me a homophobe, I don't know. I, just, I can't get it. I don't want to get it. That's the thing. I don't want to put myself in that place. Like, oh, I understand. Oh, oh, oh. And I, you know, no. I don't get it. Like, straight up gay, I don't understand. Because how you don't like titties is beyond me. How no, there's no, no, no man don't like titties. Okay. Now, the vaginal, I can understand. Because that gets a little weird down in there. Like, you get, the, you get the Pillsbury Doughboy down up in there, and it's just, there's problems down up in there. Like, like some women, and this is getting way the fuck off topic, but it's like some women, like, they don't like giving oral sex to men because it freaks them out, but they'll go have oral sex with women where there's blood in, in, in Pillsbury Doughboys down up in there. Okay, it's just, I, that I don't get. I don't understand it, but that's the whole other topic. But did he really do anything wrong? Again, minus the pedophilia. That, um, we're taking that off the table. We've taken that off the table. We're just talking about the actual assault. Alleged assault. Did he do anything wrong? I honestly don't think he did anything wrong. Because in his mind, okay, this person knows why he's here. He showed up. And he's, he's in the bedroom. So, he obviously wants to, you know, quote-unquote, party. So, again, I don't see him having done anything bad. Now, again, again, the whole pedophilia thing, that's a whole other topic. 
No, did he know the kid was 14? <sighs> Again, I'm going to assume he absolutely did. And that's why he was called up. But, no, unless a bunch of other kids, like, oh, I was 12 or 13 or, you know. But, okay, so if 18 is the sexual limit, so he's four years under. Uh, I don't know. that. It, it, uh, I mean, if we're going just on, on a visual appearance, like, did he say, are you 18? Yeah, I don't... Uh, now, if the kid was, like, 5, yeah, I'd be like, I totally get that. But, like, if you're 17 or you're 16, I, that's... Now I'm, I'm not saying I'm making excuses for pedophilia. But, like, if a kid's 17, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Obviously, they're not 18. I mean, it literally, like they show you, age is just a number. But you're not, I don't necessarily think you're purposely, unless you're purposely saying, oh, I want to do somebody under 18 because it's just, it's, it's, uh, you know, like some people get off on the fact that the kid's underage. Like, oh, she's like, you know, 17 and a half and she's not exactly 18. So it's like, I'm breaking the law kind of a thing. I could maybe see that, but I don't know. I, I don't. It's now again. If the kid, if it's like a like a toddler, yeah, that's that's completely inappropriate. But if you're a year under uh, sixteen, uh, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't because I mean, yeah, we put an age number on it. Where again, if you look at throughout history, I mean, shit, kids nine, they're married. Okay, they're. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, if you're talking like any other time throughout history, just the fact that we happen to put an age number, an age limit on it, that they have to be at least 18 consensually. Uh, again, I'm not making excuses for pedophilia. Make no mistake, I don't want to sound like that. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to post this at all, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this situation. The kid's 14. That is pushing it a little bit, but... If we're if you're just going on, what does he look like? Does he look? Well, the fact I say he, it's like ugh. But does he look like he's really young, or does he look older? Because I mean, hey, some kids do look like they're older. It just like if you're going just on looks, you you like, I'm not even gonna ask. It's just, is he here for sex? Yes or no? I mean, that's it's it's a little pervy. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little. It's shitty. That's just a shitty way to go. It's just a shitty way to be. Um, so, again, I don't know how I feel about that because... Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's it's just... It's... Ugh. I just... The whole... Because, again, if you're talking about... I mean, there's a lot of sexual perversion that's going on in this. You can love the homos and the gays and whatever you want to call them. I don't know what the PC term is anymore or whatever. You could love that whole thing, but there's a lot of sexual perversion going on in this whole thing. I mean, he, Kevin Spacey is a sexual pervert. Let's just be honest with you. I mean, oh, he's gay, and oh, he's this. And that. He's a pervert, dude. Like, dude, you watch House of Cards. <laughs> Holy shit, he is a legitimate fucking pervert. He is a fucking pervert. I mean, I don't care. You can love, you can love the lifestyle and support the lifestyle 100%, but the dude is a fucking pervert. He's just... He's kissing men, and it's just freaky. It, it, because the way they do it in the show, holy shit, it is just so freaky. Like, he'll just start making out with dudes, and it's just freaky as fuck. It's like, I have never seen anything like this on, like, a TV show. Now, obviously, this isn't, like, on actual TV. It's uh, it's Netflix, but... Or, is it? Is it Netflix? No, it's not. A, it can't be on TV. <laughs> that shit wouldn't be on TV. Yeah, it's Netflix. It's gotta be. Yeah, it's Netflix original, I think. But whatever, whatever. But it is some creepy shit, dude. He, because he does this stuff where he'll he'll be talking to people, then all of a sudden he'll turn to the camera and like talk to you, the audience, and be like, "Yo, this guy's a putz. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Just watch what I do." And then he like just completely throws him under the bus, and he'll go right back to like to to the oh god. It's so it's a cool fucking series. I don't care. It's a really really cool fucking series. And he does this stuff, and it's just the way he does it. He is he is such a Dude, the dude's a creep. I mean, he just is like a... And it's like... <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I like 
I want to like Kevin Spacey. I really do, as far as like an actor goes. I, I, I want to like him, and I do. But he, oh, oh God, he gives me the chills, dude. It's like blah, blah, blah. just the, the the sexualities and the the, the just the creepy, and then the house like oh my God, the dude is just. But it's awesome. It's so fucking cool at the same time. It's like oh God, blah. but you can't get enough of it. So yeah, you want like a seriously legitimate horror series? <laughs> Go to House of Cards because oh God, I I wish it was fresher in my mind so I could talk more about it. But it you really got to see it. You really legitimately have to see it. Like if Donald Trump is going to destroy the universe, I really think you should see this beforehand because it's just one of those things. Oh, blah, 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 blah. okay. He, just, he he creeps me out, dude. He just. Oh, because he, he stops and he just turns to the camera and he looks at you and he's, he's talking directly to you and it's like, it is so fucking cool when he does that. Now, he stopped doing it, I think, in like season four, season f season three, three and a half, four, somewhere in there. He actually stopped doing it for a long time. And But like at the beginning, like, again, he'd be having a conversation with somebody and all of a sudden it was like time would stop he would turn to the camera, and he would just be like, this person doesn't know what I have on him. And then he turns back, and then he just, like, lambastes the dude and just throws it. I mean, holy shit. It is so fucking creepy, because it, like, breaks that fourth wall. It's almost like Deadpool kind of shit. And <laughs> just... It's a cool series, man. It is a really good series for what it is. Um... Because he's basically this political candidate. And you see him rise into the ranks. And then he eventually becomes president. And then he wants to take over like the entire world. It's like, it literally is like the Antichrist. Um, <laughs> dude. Holy shit, dude. I love, the, I, I, I fucking love the character. I mean, I absolutely love the character. I would put it almost on, on par with House. Except for House is lovable. Even when he's a complete jerk, he's lovable on some level, like, he's just witty and, you know, like, he can say, like, the worst thing he, imaginable to somebody, but it's, it's done in such a way that it's, like, he just, it's, like, holy shit, because you're, you're laughing at, the, you're, you're just, it's great, or this, it's, like, holy shit, like, it's, like, you want him to succeed even though you know he's doing really horrible shit to people, <laughs> It's it's the weirdest thing, because I, I, I love how they draw you in as a, as a audience member because it just it's like you're you're in on it, and you actually start to care about the people around him. Who, lots of like he'll throw people under the bus just just randomly like, you know like he's not gonna take the hit these people are, and he just he. And then sometimes he has these elaborate plans and they don't work out. So he has to go to plan B. And it all sorts of work out at the end anyway. It's it's really fascinating. It is a legitimately fascinating series. Um, you really need to watch it. That's all I'm going to say on that shit. Um, but yeah, again, Kevin Spacey is just creepy. As fuck. Now, he, he was also in uh, Call of Duty a couple years ago. And... It, what he did is they had they had him do that uh, face capture shit where they put the little dots on him. So he was actually like in the game, like facially, like it was him, um, which was really cool. But again, he's such a he's such a prick, dude. He's just he plays such pricks, and you see him play pricks, and you see him with underage kids, and it's like in kissing men, and it's just oh. Ugh. So creepy, ooh, because this isn't like you know. Don't get me wrong when I say that because again, I don't get the gay lifestyle at all, so it is a little weird to me in, in that sense. But then you take it and you actually see it, and then not only are you seeing it, but you're like you're in the middle of it. You're almost like a, a third party watching this male on male sex act, if you will. And it's like, oh, it just it's off putting, dude. It's just. I can't even describe it. Now, I don't know if, like, a gay person watching this is like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, get him, get him, get him, Kevin. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's like that. You know, like, like you're watching a porn, like, oh, yeah, bang the bitch harder. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's like that. <laughs> okay. But 
me personally watching it is like, ooh, it's like, holy crap. Like, I'm getting chills thinking about it because I want to go back and watch that shit. I got to go back because I want to watch season five. And like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the series. Um, I'd almost equate it to, it's got like hints of uh, Breaking Bad in it. Like where Walter White would go nuts and, and he would actually be Eisenberg. When he has those moments, it's kind of like that. But imagine, imagine him being that character. You know, the drug dealer, the meth mate. You know, the meth uh, designer, if you will, all the time. And he just he doesn't break the character. In fact, imagine if the two roles were reversed. So instead of having like the the good sweet Walter White, you've got. Eisenberg the whole time and the roles are reversed so when he's he, in other words he's he's this evil manipulative fuck all the time and then he plays this nice sweet guy in front of people and you like you see right like you clearly see right through his shit and these people are just buying it up and they're like oh sure I'll do whatever you want I'll help you out and he looks at the camera and he says of course they will. Kind of a deal. It's just, oh, it's so creepy the way he does it. It's just, oh my god, he is such a creep. <laughs> he is a legitimate creep. It, it, apparently in real life. And so it's like, personally, knowing what I know now, I'm, I can't wait to go back and watch this series. Because it's like, he is such a freak in, in general, just in life. And he, oh, dude. And I don't mean anything against him personally when I say that. But he does come across as being a real, uh, a real son of a bitch, and yeah, dude, I'm excited. I want to. I'm, I think I'll start that. This. Uh, well, I still got a couple Halloween movies. It, it, today's the 31st, and I definitely didn't get get all my Halloween movies in. Um. Anyways, I don't want to get into that because that's a whole other clip, and I don't want to make this one too long. So, yeah, this is my my Kevin Spacey. Uh, Yeah, again, and again, when I was talking about the pedophilia stuff, I, I, I'm, it's wrong, I don't want to insinuate that it's not wrong, it's just, again, if you're going just by sight and not, you know, gee, what, you know, show me ID kind of a deal, it's questionable, it's, I don't know. So I, what, I don't want even want to dwell on that anymore, but yeah, the guy's, the guy's, the guy's a person. He's a fucking, he's a pervert. I mean, there's no getting around that fact. He's just a sexual, he's a sexual freak. I mean, there's no getting around it. You know, again, and that's just somebody who doesn't get the lifestyle. I don't want to understand the lifestyle. I want nothing to do with it. It's just, whatever. So anyways, uh, I, I wanted to talk about this, and it's just, whatever. I, I just, I'm completely, I'm out of my element here, because this is not my, my cup of tea as far as like what we talk about but um anyways you know what i'm done F fuck fuck that you need to go watch the series end of discussion go do it do it do it oh